The problem of air pollution in China is becoming worse every year. Increases in pollution have caused harmful effects for the people in China. Not only the urban population of about 350 million, but also those who live near large cities are feeling the effects. One of the most prevalent sources of air pollution is the burning of coal. Coal power produces particulates in the air that contains sulfur compounds, carbon, and other coal byproducts. These, pollut these pollutants get into the lungs and contribute to respiratory disease, heart damage, and even cancer. Dust clouds containing all these pollutants are produced by coal plants in China and are blown to the west coast of the U.S. They are even visible on weather monitoring equipment as they cross the Pacific Ocean. The largest health problem related to coal plants is the production of sulfur dioxide. The sulfur emissions were above 25 million tons in 2005 and are so bad that 30% of the country experiences acid rain because of the sulfur. The effects of the pollution the effects of the pollution are felt downwind in Korea and Japan as well. This deadly compound causes almost 400,000 premature deaths every year. The acid rain poisons lakes, rivers, forests, and crops. The loss of crops to many poor Chinese farmers can mean the difference between life and death. China has increased its use of coal so fast that it, that it has surpassed the U.S., the European Union, and Japan combined in coal consumption. The air pollution in one particular city, Daetong, a couple of hundred miles west of Beijing, is listed as one of the worst in the world. The air pollution index used ranges from zero, the best, to 500, the worst. The score combines measurements of nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, and total suspended particulates. In some cases, carbon monoxide and ozone are also measured. A score of less than 50 is considered clean. In China, a score of 300 means that it is not safe to go outside. In, in late December of 2005, Daetong hit a level of 350. Conditions are so bad that it is common for many citizens to drive with headlights on during the day. Why the need for so much coal? It is because the country of about, with about one-fifth of the world's population is now trying to match the standards of living of the rest of the world. This, mean, this means that China needs air conditioning, refrigerators, and other modern appliances for urban households. And the cheapest way to power all of this is by using coal.